Every rapper that we currently know today has an origin story. Some have amazing stories that end up motivating you, and others have, like, the saddest stuff that makes you really sympathetic for them. However, there is a third group of rappers who have troublesome stories that often end up ruining their careers. The story of Lil Xan might just be one of them, and in this video, we're going to be discussing why he fits into that group. For those who didn't know about him, Lil Xan is an American rapper, a songwriter, and singer from Redlands, California. Originally known as Nicholas Diego Lianos, this rapper was born on September 6th of 1996 and was pretty poor, living in motels throughout his childhood. He attempted education, reaching as far as high school, however, that really didn't last, and he dropped out in his freshman year. He remained at home unemployed for several years after that, until he decided to, well, get a job, as some people do. He was a street cleaner, and he even sold drugs. He later pursued a career in photography in support of his many friends who were, well, rappers. He ultimately had his camera stolen and decided to start rapping instead of, you know, investing in a new camera. This marked the beginning of what should have been a very illustrious music career, but that story would take some time to unfold. When he started his career, he listed N.E.R.D. and Pharrell Williams as his initial hip-hop influences, along with some other artists like the Queens of the Stone Age, Cage the Elephant, and Arctic Monkeys. He also described the popular rapper Drake and Mac Miller as musical inspirations for his rap style. According to Pigeons and Planes, Lil Xan's music started out as typical trap and then began to approach a murkier, dreamlike sound. According to reports, Lil Xan was often described as a part of a sad rap movement. He got the rap name Lil Xan from Xanax, the trade name the prescription drug Alprazolam used in the short-term management of anxiety disorders. This kind of gives you a somewhat unusual idea of his personality and how troublesome things could uh, get with time. Regardless, Lil Xan started to gain fame and recognition through multiple platforms like SoundCloud and YouTube. His fame grew after the release of his music video for his single, Betrayed, in August of 2017, which peaked at the 64th position in the Billboard Hot 100 chart. This seemed like the beginning of a pretty illustrious career, and for a while, things were going good for Lil Xan. Not long after his song made the Billboard Hot 100 chart, he announced the release of his debut album, Total Xanarchy, in an interview with XXL. For a debut album, Total Anarchy, or sorry, he <laughs> Total Xanarchy, featured some amazing artists like Sway Lee and Diplo. The announcement of his debut album was followed by the Total Xanarchy tour in December 2017, which was so successful that it got sold out within the first five hours. He eventually released Total Xanarchy studio album in April 2018. And while it got some negative reviews from critics, it was still considered a moderate commercial success. Now, this is because it debuted at the 10th position on the Billboard 200 charts and it sold 28,000 copies in its first week. By May 2018, Lil Xan was revving up for his mixtape release titled Heartbreak Soldiers, which was ultimately released in July of 2018. By September 2018, he announced that he was working on a tribute album titled Be Safe in honor of Mac Miller, as those were the final words that he said to Lil Xan before his death. However, what seemed like a beautiful thing from Lil Xan turned into the beginning of several contradictory statements from the rapper. He had given several contradictory statements concerning his yet unreleased second album. It was originally planned to release his Be Safe project in 2019, however, the tribute album entered production limbo and was ultimately scrapped. This happened again in November 2019 when he made announcements about his next album titled When September Ends, and then released an accompanying album record cover. However, as you probably guessed, this album never came to fruition. In January of 2020, Lil Xan announced that his proposed album was ready to be released and it would be titled Sorry, I Didn't Quit. He also released a new uh, accompanying album cover that took some creativity from Lil Wayne's Sorry for the Wait album cover. However, this project seems to have ultimately been scrapped. Thankfully, all this scrapping finally came to an end on June 24th of 2022, when he released his EP, Have a Nice Day. This was his first project in more than three years, and it was a joint work with fellow SoundCloud rapper Chris Miles. This EP involved a feature from Lil Tracy and was reinforced by the single Miss Me. You'll agree that Lil Xan has had some fame, and with time, that fame would have grown into something so much more. However, it kind of just makes you wonder where it all went wrong, right? I mean, apart from the contradictory statements about his album, he seemed to be doing all right. Well, things aren't always as they seem, and things weren't always going as well as presumed for this rapper. As I previously mentioned in this video, Lil Xan got his name from Xanax, used in the short-term management of anxiety disorders. However, there's a little bit more to the story than just that. Xanax is an addictive controlled substance often used to treat anxiety and panic disorder, and has risen in popularity among many younger hip-hop acts. 
in audiences over the last few years. And just like any other form of dangerous, hard drug, Xanax has done quite a lot of harm to people who have gotten addicted to it. And Lil Xan was one of those people. In the chorus of his breakout hit single, Betrayed, Lil Xan sings, Xans don't make you, Xans gonna take you, Xans gonna fake you, and Xans gonna betray you. You probably guessed it by now, but he was talking about Xanax. And it turns out that Lil Xan was pretty addicted to the drug almost like he named himself after it and it was almost ruining his life actually it almost ruined his life i'd say he said i was painfully addicted to xan for like two years of my life anyone trying to tell me i'm a poser can shut the fuck up i know what it's like to be addicted to that i was lucky enough to get off that shit the xanax addiction thing isn't limited to lil xan alone as a couple of other celebrities who have gotten hooked on it also had to deal with the consequences in 2018 a chicago rapper lucky nearly lost his life due to a xanax addiction and sometimes after that Fredo Santana, another Chicago artist, was required to check into a hospital because of drug-related failure of his liver and kidneys. Unlike some rappers who sing or rap about drug use, Lil Xan actively tried to fight against his addiction. He said, I definitely learned the lesson after ending up in the hospital from withdrawing. I, I was doing Norcos too, so I was withdrawing from opiates and benzos. It landed me in the hospital too many times. And one day, I was just like, this ain't fun. I, I can't live this life. A lot of rappers don't really be talking about doing drugs, you know? It's like, it's the opposite way, so it's refreshing, I think. After the unfortunate death of Lil Peep from an accidental overdose, many other rappers like Lil Pomp, Smoker Perb, and Lil Uzi Vert have made public vows to steer clear from Xanax and lean. Lil Peep's demise was a major wake-up call for most addicted rappers, including Lil Xan, who considered himself to be a fan of the late artist. He said, I really don't agree with glorifying the drug at this point. I mean, especially in light of Lil Peep's death. You'd be stupid to keep glorifying it. You gotta get off that stuff. It's not good for you. He's been very open and outspoken against the Xanax addiction, and it urges everyone to stop using the drug just altogether. Apparently, this is also the idea behind many of his songs and albums. He said, In the beginning of 2017, I had my own demons with the drug Xanax. It got out of hand, so I wanted to make a movement. Xanarchy. About just nothing but anti-Xan use. And that's what I'm really trying to promote in Betrayed. Yeah, he's pretty dedicated to using Xanarchy as a means to raise awareness as uh, regards to substance abuse. And in its own special way, the music works as a cautionary tale about the risks of addiction. Early in 2022, it was revealed that Lil Xan was not doing much better. However, he was taking additional precautions to ensure that he stayed sober while on his tour. In an interview, he claimed to have been clean for 40 days and spent 30 days in a detox center and another 30 days in a rehab facility. At the time, he claimed to have been feeling better than ever and was blessed to be sober, finally. Well, this might seem like a good thing in general, a part of this whole arrangement seemed quite controversial to everyone who's heard about it. Lil Xan stated that his rehab facility allowed its patients to smoke weed, which he claims helped him. This approach might seem to be common amongst addicted celebrities, and is often referred to as California sober. Something Demi Lovato said works for them. This came after Lil Xan posted on his Instagram story on March 23rd of 2022 informing his followers that he was hospitalized due to mental health concerns. He also shared two pictures where he scripted something about his health and what had been happening. Lil Xan stated that he had checked himself in to a 5150, slaying for a California law code that allows for the involuntary temporary psychiatric commitment of people who pose a threat to themselves or others due to symptoms of mental illness. He also stated that the reason why he had chosen to be hospitalized, as this was related to an issue that had been ongoing since December of 2021, he stated that he was hospitalized because of online bullying when he exposed his former manager stat quo, who he claimed helped feed his near-fatal drug addiction. According to Lil Xan, stat quo fostered his addiction by supplying him with drugs whenever he had withdrawal symptoms while on tour. Following his troubling revelation, some people supported him, while others bullied him on social media, saying things like, He's doing everything for attention. It's all a lie. Lil Xan released a statement stating that everyone should refrain from spreading lies about this issue as it was affecting his mental health. Drug addiction is a dangerous menace that has cost many celebrities their careers, and hopefully it won't be the same for Lil Xan. However, it is becoming more and more likely as his fight against his Xanax addiction well, continues. And that's a sad note, but that does bring us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching how Lil Xan lost everything.